Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday moisturizing routine. So to start things off here in the morning, I like to use my Skin Nutrition's Age Defying Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. It comes in a little roller ball. It's got some caffeine in it. Helps depuff the under eyes first thing in the morning. And I get it at the Dollar Tree, so you really can't beat the price. Up next is my jojoba oil, at least I think I'm saying that right. My friend Bettina sent me this all the way from Australia, so I'll leave a channel link below if you want to go check her out. But this is a skin brightening serum. I like to apply it every morning, and I think it's done a really good job with brightening my skin and helping to even out my skin tone. So this is definitely something I will be looking into repurchasing uh, once I use it up. I like to make sure I get this pressed slash rubbed all over my face and I also take it down the neck but I really focus it under my under eyes and on my forehead. I like to finish things by applying a little bit of chapstick. This one is a Nerds chapstick in grape flavor. There's no color so definitely like not a tinted lip balm or anything but I definitely find it to be very moisturizing. I picked this one up at my local Dollar Tree so if you see it the next time you're there make sure to grab yourself up one. So this is everything I apply first thing in the morning, so let's head on over to the evening. Okay, I'm fresh out of the shower and ready to start applying my evening moisturizer. I always start by applying my eye cream. Lately, I've been using the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. Uh, yeah, as the name alludes, it is a eye brightener. I can't say that it's done a whole lot for eye brightening, but I've been enjoying it. Can't say I'll repurchase. Um, but definitely going to go ahead and finish it up. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my tweezers and I'm using this as almost like a little makeup spatula just so I can scoop a little pro a little bit of product out. Um, it's almost hard to get my fingers in there. <laughs> so I find that scooping a little bit out with my tweezers on the very end um, just makes it a little bit easier to get the product out of the pot without getting it shoved up my fingernails. This is a very thick and creamy product, so a little bit goes a long way, and I just like to apply it to my under eyes and also to my eyelids. I'm not sure you're really supposed to put it there, but I haven't had any ill effects from doing it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Moving on to the next product, I'm going to be applying my Pond's Dry Skin Cream all over my face. This stuff works wonders to my dry skin that I get here in the wintertime, especially on my forehead. It's really worked wonders. I've been using this product for probably the last eight months. This jar is never ending, though I think I might finally be coming to the bottom of it. We shall see. Uh, maybe in another three months. <laughs> but I really like this product. If you're looking for a good nighttime moisturizer, something really moisturizing, <laughs> I would definitely check this out. I have really been enjoying this product. Since I am fresh out of the shower, I thought I'd go ahead and include my leave-in conditioner that I use that is part of moisturizing, right? I've been using the Garnier Whole Blends um, leave-in conditioner, the coconut oil and cocoa butter one. I've really been enjoying it. I think it does a good job. I think it's pretty comparable to the formula you get in the green bottle, so I'm not really sure there's really a difference other than the smell, but definitely a product worth checking out if you're interested. I'm going to wrap things up here by using a sugar scrub. This one is from Trifle Cosmetics. I got it in an Ipsy bag a few months back. It's the Sugar Bunny Scrub in the flavor Watermelon. I really like it. I think it does a good job. I like to use it a couple times a week, and I, I've really been enjoying it this winter. And then we're going to finish everything up with applying a little bit of chapstick. And that's it for this video. I really hope you did enjoy. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.